in the first part we have created the routes and the migrations for the basic URLs which we will require for the gallery app as I told in the first tutorial I will be using the material design theme of bootstrap this is a wonderful theme and you know, it's very easy to implement what we need to do is basically if you go to this URL from github which is this you know inside distribution this CSS folder which has this files now and from all these files what I need is the material.css, ripples.css and robots.css alright and I need to copy the fonts as well and then the JS I have not used it right now I'm not going to use any of these effects so for now I will skip it I will have only one JS file which is my own apps JS file so uh, the best thing which you can do is just download the zip file extract the content and then this is how you need to place the files first of all the CSS files so I'll go inside the resources right of all resources assets CSS and inside CSS I have these files normalize is something which I have added additionally and also the bootstrap min.css otherwise you'll need the min sorry material ripple and robot okay once we are done there is only one JS file which is app.js inside the JS folder but everything is inside the resources folder this is not something which we will put in the public folder once the files are ready just let me you know give you a basic idea so there is assets and inside assets these are the files and js these are the files okay so back to this view and now we need to edit the gulp file go inside sublime gulp this is something which comes by default I don't use SCSS I comment it out and then first I will add the styles so mix dot st styles right inside this I'll pass an array it will be normalized let me use the file names exact so first I'll check take the normalized one then I'll use the bootstrap Right. Then I will take the ripple.css right. and then let us take the material.css yeah. and last is the roboto.css. Okay. With this I will then add the scripts. So it's scripts. I'll pass an array. For now I have only one file so it will be app.js yeah you know basically the elixir functions assume that when you are referring to styles you have a CSS folder inside assets that's why all the files are inside CSS when you are referring to scripts you know these are inside the JS folder and that's why this is the direct path right okay so our gulp file is ready almost I have one more thing which I'll show you in a second but then if I now try to do gulp you will see that inside my public folder here's my public folder inside public folder I have a CSS file folder and a JS folder inside CSS I have all dot CSS which is basically let's open it up public CSS all dot CSS this is the concatenated file which contains all these five files all right this these are concatenated and then inside the JS also I have the only code which I have written but again it will be concatenated now the last piece is beautiful functionality which comes with Elixir which is version so I'll say mix dot version and then I'll pass an array which is CSS slash all dot CSS and then JS slash all dot JS. Now what is this? So if you have developed you know JavaScript pages or single page applications, you must have 
faced problems where you know you have updated your JavaScript code and you said that you you said your client that you know the code has been fixed or something like that and your client says oh I don't see any change that's mainly because you know he might be still viewing the site with the old cached JavaScript file right it happens many of the servers will cache the JS files or CSS files if they have the same file name and to beat that we use something like question mark v equals 1.0 but these are manual edits instead this versioning does a wonderful job so as you have seen in my public folder I have CSS and JS right now with this in place what this tells is version the file which is inside public js all.js which is the second one and similarly inside public css all.css now if i run gulp give it some time and you can see there are additional ones which is versioning these two files go to the public folder and inside public folder we have a new folder called build inside build i have css jss and this revision dash manifest json so what is that file and those folders all right so you can see there is a dyna dynamic file naming which is done all dash 80 cc 33 f8 and similarly a random string for the js file and the revision manifest file contains the actual file name and the alias of this file name how this works is we will use the elixir function to call these files the elixir function will read this json and it will pick up this file for anything which is mentioned with the key css slash all right and same goes for js okay now let me quickly update my tpl i'll go inside where is my resources folder resources views master.blade inside that it's a link href and inside href I'll first say URL inside URL I have elixir right and in that I'll pass CSS slash all dot CSS okay this is done and now if I refresh the app as you can see my galleries is visible it's a different theme I mean it's the same gray color now the forms are missing this is because the forms should go inside the build folder because everything which is coming as CSS is from inside the build CSS folder right so ideally the fonts should be here so I'll just copy paste the fonts from a different project and paste it here because I have already downloaded the entire package okay I have the fonts folder ready and if I hit refresh again you can see my galleries is with the Roboto font and the theme is applied alright so the CSS is working now let's go again to sublime text I will need a very simple URL I will need a variable which stores the base URL it is something which I have seen with the Drupal development as well where I get a global JavaScript variable called base URL so I will do the same thing here I will say script and inside that I will say var base URL equals inside quotes URL and then the root so what this will do is create a base URL for me which is a JavaScript variable let me quickly refresh and show you the source code as you can see this is localhost 8000 so every time I want to make any Ajax calls I will prefix with this and so I don't have to change anything whenever my so my server is changing alright now it's time to include my JavaScript file now one thing which I haven't mentioned yet is I have a vendor folder inside the public for uh, public JS which is a concatenated file so I'll show you here I'll go to public JS and inside sorry this is the build folder inside JS 
I have the vendor and inside vendor I have vendor.js this is basically the jQuery after that a different library this is so basically yeah I have one by one copy pasted few of the common libraries the jQuery bootstrap main.js and made made it one file I don't want this file to be concatenated or run every time when I hit gulp because practically there is nothing to be passed in this file I can directly use it so the first thing which I will do is script and then I will add the source which is for the vendor it will be something like asset right js slash vendor slash vendor dot js that is the URL so public js vendor vendor dot js and then script src equals and in this again I will have to use elixir because this is something which will come from the gulp command right so URL in that I'll pass elixir and then inside that it will be js slash all dot js right and let's hit refresh so my document dot ready is coming up as you can see inside my app dot js which is inside resources js there's only one console and if I change it okay, refresh and the exclamations are gone now obviously one thing is that I am able to do or run this gulp command because I have already installed node and also I have done npm install which basically gives me this folder node underscore modules once you hit the npm install command it will download all the packages which are required for the gulp tasks and it will download it one by one it's a big folder because I think the total file size is around 120 yeah 124 MB so I have already done it but obviously you need to do it before you hit the command and yeah so we already have the CSS JS running and the JavaScript file is also running in the next tutorial I will create the form to create a new gallery and save it into the database